Hello, I'm Michael Pierce, and this is The Human Condition. Today we're talking about when brain cells die. Now, the difficulty about brain cells dying is we, we don't really know from outside if brain cells have truly died or if they have reduced their function so severely that they're not dead, they're just mostly dead, not completely dead, and or if they have, have reduced in their function just a little bit. So we don't really know until we measure the brain's waves, until we do imaging, until we do all kinds of pictures that would show actual necrosis or cell death. If cells have actually expired or died or infarcted, like a heart attack, there should be a dark spot on imaging that would show that these cells are dead. Cells that are dead are never coming back, in the human usually. However, that doesn't mean that you're hopeless if you have lost some cells to stroke or some other injury to the brain. These hard lesions are called hard lesions because they're, they don't change, they're not variable, they're dead. So those cells that are dead are not coming back. But the good news about this is that sometimes a person can grow or regrow connections through that thicket of dead cells. Further, there is often an area around those dead cells that are not all dead. So you might have a, th a thicket of truly dead cells and an area around that are not dead, they're just reduced in firing. And so the clinical symptoms would show up in the person as dysfunction of this larger area, but the clinician doesn't really know how much of it is dead and how much of it is just um, in hibernation mode or, or healing mode or inflammatory mode and just is not, not healthy enough to truly fire well. Those nerve cells that are not dead, that are surrounding the area that is dead, those cells might recover. And if we do a good job, we might be able to help them heal and recover. When you look at pictures of an eclipse, you can see that there is an eclipse that forms a very clear dark shadow that is clear contrast and very dark. And there's a less dark shadow around it where the light is bent a different way. And that is called a penumbra. So in stroke studies and in brain ablation studies where there's truly dead cells and non-dead cells, we have that umbra and penumbra. And we, we, we talk about them as the truly dark dead spot and the not so dead spot that could recover. At early phases, clinically, the person will appear to be worse because all of those cells are not firing well enough. But as they get better, they might spontaneously heal and restore their blood flow, or they might respond to aggressive rehabilitative therapies or neurofeedback or other methods, even counseling and supplements or drugs. As the area that is not dead starts to heal and starts to fire again, there will be an increase of function. But the area that's truly dead can never fire again. But as I said before, there might be thickets of neurons that would grow through that area and help, but it's not likely that those cells are not, are not coming back generally. You can look at our other videos about how brain cells regenerate, if you'd like to see that. So when brain cells die, they're not always dead, and not all of the area that clinically shows up in an examination or in symptoms are truly dead. So you always have to investigate further to figure out what's actually dead and what's not dead, that requires very advanced exam skills, as well as history taking skills and observation and imaging. It requires different kinds of imaging depending on what brain area you're looking at and how big or small the lesions are and what caused those lesions. Sometimes a person can have transient ischemic attacks where no cells actually die, but they kind of wink on and off from loss of metabolism. They, they lose metabolism for whatever reason and they just stop firing for, for a period. And these events are short periods of time, much like angina pectoris, which is like a mini heart attack where a person has a non-damaging event where they suddenly have this, this short event for 10 or 15 minutes and they feel like they're having a heart attack. But when they're investigated, it's discovered that they don't have any true heart damage. The same thing can happen to the brain. The brain can have a transient ischemic attack where it has a reduction in blood flow or a reduction in oxygen and it, it acts like it's having a stroke and a person might have symptoms of stroke that are transient and come and go away. And that person hasn't received permanent damage. The problem is they are very, very close to permanent damage and they have to be careful, especially if they have repeated transient ischemic attacks. So that's what happens when brain cells die.